Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Mil Mi 26 stands as the largest and most powerful helicopter ever constructed. A true titan of rotary wing aviation. First introduced by the Soviet Union in 1977, the aircraft was originally developed for civilian rescue, disaster relief, and transporting heavy loads. Even decades later, despite its age, the Mi-26 continues to operate across the world, including in Belarus, where it remains a crucial asset for emergency response in large-scale firefighting missions. What truly distinguishes the Mi-26 is its remarkable lifting capability. With a maximum payload reaching up to 20 metric tons, it can haul loads that no other helicopter on the planet can rival. Its enormous cargo hold, approximately 15 meters in length and 3.2 meters in width, enables it to carry rescue vehicles, military hardware, personnel, or massive volumes of water for aerial firefighting. For emergency crews, this translates to quicker responses and fewer sorties during major disasters. In Belarus, the Ministry of Emergency Situations depends heavily on the Mi-26 for civil protection and urgent crisis response. The helicopter has proven particularly effective in firefighting operations, both within the country and abroad. Crews have deployed it to battle wildfires in places such as Turkey, Georgia, and Greece, where its ability to release enormous water loads in a single drop made a crucial difference. Operators who have flown and maintained the Mi-26 understand firsthand how its scale and power allow it to succeed where smaller aircraft are unable to perform. Physically, the Mi-26 is a commanding machine. Measuring more than 40 meters from nose to tail and equipped with a main rotor spanning 32 meters in diameter, its dimensions are astounding. Yet the aircraft is flown by a surprisingly small crew of six, a commander, co-pilot, assistant commander, navigator, flight engineer, and loadmaster. Dual flight controls enhance safety, ensuring either pilot can instantly assume command if needed. Inside the cockpit, the design reflects the helicopter's Soviet heritage, with many analog gauges still present. However, upgrades over the years have introduced lighter and more modern systems that improve reliability and efficiency. Mm -hmm. 
Reducing avionics weight allows crews to carry additional fuel or cargo, extending both range and mission duration. Maintaining a helicopter of this scale is a formidable undertaking. Routine checks focus on structural integrity, hydraulic components, engines, and especially the massive rotor assembly, where stresses are far greater than those found on smaller helicopters. The Mi 26's two D136 turboshaft engines each deliver over 11,000 horsepower, requiring constant oversight to detect wear, erosion, or debris damage. Flying the Mi 26 is equally demanding. External loads can behave unpredictably, swinging or rotating due to aerodynamic forces, demanding continuous attention from both pilots and load handlers. Takeoff, cruising, and landing require meticulous coordination, particularly in tight terrain such as mountainous regions or dense forests. Despite these hurdles, the Mi-26 remains unparalleled. From lifting disabled helicopters out of remote valleys to dropping huge firefighting loads, it continues to prove its worth. Nearly 50 years after its debut, the Mi-26 stands as a monument to engineering ambition and remains an irreplaceable platform for heavy lift missions around the globe. There's a special excitement that comes from watching a giant helicopter hover overhead. It's nearly impossible not to feel awe at the sheer size and strength of these airborne giants. And there is nothing quite like the CH-53 King Stallion. This heavy lift cargo helicopter is the largest helicopter ever built by the United States. Its appearance and technology represent the latest evolution in a long line of heavy lift aircraft developed by Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation. now a subsidiary of Lockheed Martin. The first of these, the CH-53A, emerged in the early 1960s and served with distinction during the Vietnam War. Over the decades, Sikorsky continued to refine and advance the design, producing increasingly capable versions including the CH-53D CH-53E, and now the CH-53K. Each new model introduced improvements such as greater lifting power, extended range, and enhanced mission systems. The CH-53K builds on this lineage, incorporating the newest technologies and engineering innovations to create an even more capable and dependable heavy lift helicopter for modern military operations. And when we say heavy, we truly mean heavy.
The CH-53K's lift capacity is often described as F-35 lift because it can carry the equivalent weight of an F-35 Lightning II fighter jet. Its sophisticated cargo hook system enables it to lift vehicles, artillery, supplies, and even other helicopters. Some abilities of the King Stallion are so new that even the Marines flying it continue to learn its limits. That was the case in September 2021, when Marines used the CH-53K to recover a downed Navy MH-60 helicopter in rural California. The lift was complicated and demanding, but the CH-53K's advanced capabilities made it ideal for the job. After locating the downed aircraft, Marines attached it to the cargo hook system, and the CH-53K's powerful engines lifted the MH-60 and transported it safely for evaluation and repair. The CH-53K can carry up to 37 personnel inside its cargo hold. During operations, that cargo might include vehicles, artillery, ammunition, medical supplies, and essential gear, whether for relief missions in peacetime or for combat operations in wartime. The spacious compartment, roughly 30 feet long and 9 feet wide, sits at the center of the fuselage. A rear ramp can be lowered to load or unload passengers or equipment quickly. And in wartime, the CH-53K's capabilities truly shine. In an amphibious assault scenario, the helicopter can move three dozen Marines and their gear from ships offshore directly to land. In an air assault operation, it can deliver troops and equipment straight into the fight. Its lifting muscle allows it to transport heavy weapon systems, ammunition, and mission-critical supplies. Its ability to operate at night or in low visibility environments reduces the chance of detection. Of course, even these large helicopters can't always evade enemy surveillance. If intercepted or shot down, the crew and passengers must escape quickly. For that reason, Marines undergo rigorous egress training, preparing them to exit the aircraft safely during emergencies. These drills involve practicing with hatches, life rafts, and simulated hazards such as cockpit smoke or crash landing scenarios. The goal is absolute readiness, ensuring that in a real emergency, everyone knows how to react swiftly and correctly. Another life-saving capability of the CH-53K is its ability to refuel in mid-air, transferring fuel from one aircraft to another during flight. For example, if a Marine or soldier needed urgent evacuation from a battlefield, the King Stallion wouldn't need to stop and refuel. Using a hose and drogue system, the CH-53K can be refueled by a tanker aircraft such as the KC-130J. The refueling probe is positioned on top of the fuselage, 
ahead of the tail rotor. One scenario where this feature is vital is during long distance flights over the ocean. Once it arrives, salty sea spray is no threat to the helicopter thanks to its corrosion-resistant airframe. The aircraft is built to withstand constant exposure to salt water and other harsh maritime elements, preserving structural integrity and ensuring high readiness. Advanced avionics and autopilot systems also allow the CH-53K to operate effectively in poor weather or low visibility conditions often encountered at sea. If the CH-53K cannot fly to its destination, it can be transported by a large military aircraft like the C-17. Even though the 17 is powerful and versatile, it cannot carry the CH-53K in one piece due to the helicopter's immense size and weight. With a maximum gross weight exceeding 88,000 pounds, the King Stallion is simply too big. However, the C-17 can transport the CH-53K in a disassembled configuration. The helicopter can be separated into major components, the fuselage, rotor blades, tail boom, and engines. These parts are loaded into the C-17 using cranes, forklifts, and ground support equipment. The process is complex and requires skilled specialists and extensive equipment over several days. Transporting the helicopter in this manner is not ideal, but sometimes necessary when ground transport is impractical. Once the aircraft reaches its destination, technicians reassemble the CH-53K. Both the Mi-26 and the CH-53K King Stallion demonstrate what becomes possible when engineering pushes the boundaries of vertical lift. Whether battling wildfires, retrieving downed aircraft, or moving troops, and heavy gear through the harshest environments, these helicopters offer capabilities unmatched by any other platforms. Their sheer size, strength, and versatility make them indispensable in both humanitarian and military operations. Even in an age dominated by advanced jets and drones, Heavy lift helicopters continue to play a critical role in modern military strategy and emergency response around the world. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.